As the human race develops its technological prowess, we have to look to the horizon to see whether or not this technology is helping us or slowly killing us. With the advent of new robotics, research into artificial intelligence, and the effects of global warming most likely caused by man-made activities, it appears to be a race against time before we find our inventions slowly smothering us under the weight and responsibilities of progress. In order to combat these inevitable changes, it is then imperative to look to the stars around us and turn an old idea of science fiction into science fact and develop the technological means to begin the colonization of alien planets. So today, at Unexplained Mysteries, we have analyzed the top five most Earth-like planets that would be a prime target for early colonization strategies. The Martian Surface Oftentimes seen as the target of science fiction novels depicting advanced Martian civilizations or future efforts at early space colonization is our red planetary neighbor, Mars. When the first pictures were sent back to the National Aeronautics and Space Administration by the Viking 1 spacecraft back on the 20th of July in 1976, the realization of Mars being a prime candidate to one day support early space colonies became a prime topic discussed in early designed colonization missions. Over the next few decades, as more information regarding the Red Planet was gathered, it became even more apparent that our planet and Mars have a lot in common, including a similar rotational axis, making the Martian day similar to the Earth day by only being roughly 37 minutes slightly longer, four distinct seasons, and a rocky surface similarly seen across vast deserts and rocky mountainous regions on Earth. Unfortunately, NASA has shown no interest in the colonization of Mars, as they more commonly prefer to milk the American government's budget rather than pursue actual space interests as a private space agency, and so the majority of the modern-day efforts into the colonization of Mars comes from the billionaire tech genius Elon Musk and his private space research corporation known as SpaceX. Not only have they made it far cheaper and more affordable to begin efforts for the transportation required in a colonization project, but the deadlines and launch dates for the first manned mission to Mars will be launched in early 2023 and will land on Mars to begin the first steps necessary for colonization in 2025. The main issues with developing a colony on Mars is related more to the planet's size and lack of an electromagnetic field. Given the fact that Mars is significantly smaller than the Earth, the gravity on the Red Planet is only about 38% that of the Earth, which means that any human inhabitants that settle on the planet will be unable to return to Earth due to bone and muscle degradation that will cause them to be crushed by Earth's atmosphere. The lack of an electromagnetic shield also means that the plant is constantly under a bombardment of cosmic radiation that will require colonies to be placed underneath large supplies of water to prevent the radiation from hitting the inhabitants. A terraformed Venus Since mathematical data could be recovered relative to Venus, it has been called Earth's twin. The reason for this is that the planet has so much in common with our pale blue ball that many astronomers and astrophysicists see it as potentially the greatest candidate of planetary terraforming and future colonization than any other planet in the solar system, including Mars. Though the surface of the planet might currently be a hellish landscape of sulfuric acid rain, molten lava at every corner, and an atmospheric pressure capable of turning a soda can into a nickel, it would not take much effort for the planet to be made habitable and even a prime twin of our pale blue dot. In fact, a tremendous amount of maths and developments into what would be required to terraform Venus has already been completed in simulation. The methods to terraform Venus would only require the planet to be cooled to a frozen point to reduce the runaway greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, which will lower the atmospheric pressure to a one-to-one -one ratio as to that of Earth's. Then, by using the hydrogen gases of Jupiter or Saturn, one could combine these gases with the sulfur in the rain and throughout the atmosphere that would create a one-to-one -one ratio of ocean water comparable with that of Earth's. Given the fact that Venus has the perfect equivalence of gravity, a working electromagnetic shield, 
and after terraforming efforts would have a one-to-one -one ratio of atmospheric pressure and oceans across its surface, the colonization of Venus would spark a modern gold rush of resources and developments. With these minor changes, Venus could be Earth's perfect twin and see the rise of another planet with the moniker of a pale blue dot in the night sky. Kepler 20f Although the planet known as Kepler 20f is more than 929 light years away from Earth, meaning that it would take more than 900 years traveling at the speed of light before humanity could even reach the planet with current theories and technologies of space travel, it is still a prime location for the establishment of future colonies and holds more similarities to Earth than Venus itself. In fact, the planet Kepler 20f is much cooler than Venus, being more than 100 degrees Fahrenheit cooler at its maximum temperature. When the planet was first discovered back in 2011, it was noticed as being a rocky planet with the same mass, radius and gravity as the planet Earth, while also supporting a rich atmosphere believed to be containing vast amounts of water vapour. Unfortunately, this water vapour caused a runaway greenhouse effect that sees the planet at an overall temperature too hot to support life. However, with a few modifications to the environment, it could very well be a much better twin than Venus without requiring the extensive needs of terraforming as our neighbouring planet. In fact, the other celestial bodies in the region of Kepler 20f are believed to hold a vast amount of resources that could be used in mining efforts to help terraform the planet with megastructures constructed. By sending a separated human colony to the planet over many generations, the planet could potentially be a new starting ground for all of human life. TRAPPIST-1D Discovered within the TRAPPIST-1 system that made headlines from all around the world, TRAPPIST-1D was one of the many exoplanets found orbiting a star very similar in heat and size to our own Sun that led many research scientists to believe that many of the planets orbiting around the Sun to be Earth-like habitable planets and ideal for future colonization of a solar system. The most exciting prospect of this discovery was not only the planets, however, but rather the distance the system is from our own solar system, being only a mere 39.6 light years away from us, making it an interstellar neighbor with a much easier point of access. In fact, previous efforts in development of space technologies such as that of the Orion nuclear-powered spacecraft could see the journey to the TRAPPIST-1 system met in as little as one generation of passengers and accomplished in a short 60 years. This very well means that efforts could be started right now to begin interstellar colonization with current space technologies without any additional stress of developments already being performed. The TRAPPIST-1D planet in orbit around the Sun-like star of the TRAPPIST system also appears to be cooler than that of our own Earth and far richer in composition of precious metals, a rocky surface, a low gravity for easy takeoff, and an atmosphere filled with dense water vapour for colonization efforts. However, given the planet's size, mass, and density, it is theorized to have a weak electromagnetic field which would not help to shield colonization efforts from damaging cosmic radiation, similarly seen on our neighboring planet Mars. But even if the planet turns out to be incompatible with future colonization efforts once the passengers arrive at their destination, it can be easily cannibalized for resources to build megastructure bases capable of supporting human life and assist in the efforts of terraforming and colonizing the other neighboring planets nearby. TRAPPIST-1c The closest neighbour to the TRAPPIST-1d planet, TRAPPIST-1c is the single most best candidate for future human colonisation efforts that requires next to no additional research developments in the realm of colonisation. The short distance of the interstellar neighbour, along with all the raw resources that can be gathered by the neighbouring planet, is only the first bullet point as to why TRAPPIST-1c is a prime candidate for colonisation. Back in 2016, researchers have found that the planet has a temperature that is very similar to Earth, with a maximum surface temperature of 140 degrees Fahrenheit, a temperature similarly seen in areas of Earth such as Death Valley. 
Additionally, TRAPPIST-1c has a gravitational force that is 97% equal to that of Earth's gravitational forces, making it habitable for long-term endeavors without risk to the health and wellness of colonizers, as well as a mass large enough to support a strong electromagnetic field that can shield colonizers from deadly cosmic radiation. This makes it a prime environment worthy of colonization efforts as the size, atmosphere, electromagnetic field, and mass of the planet seem to be an almost perfect mirroring of our very own planet. Recent research also believes the planet to have a rich atmosphere of water vapour that could potentially see the planet slightly cooled enough to have surface temperatures similar to that of Earth. But what do you all think of these incredible Earth-like planets and what they could mean for humanity's efforts at future colonisation of space? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you.